orgasms. Everybody seems to want to have more orgasms. Orgasms are lovely and they're beautiful and they have all these wonderful health benefits. They are not all that sex has to offer. I don't like that sometimes sex becomes all about the orgasm and chasing the orgasm and that is the defining feature of whether or not sex is good. I think that's BS and I understand that orgasms are beautiful things and I can understand when people want to have more of them. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can become more orgasmic. Hello everyone, my name is Kendra. I am a counselor and somatic sex educator here at ESC and today we're going to go over four things that can help you and your body become more orgasmic. Number one, know your body. Women take longer to arouse. In the Taoist tradition, I've shared this in another video, but they say women are like water while men are like fire. Men are quick to ignite and quicker to extinguish, whereas women take a slow time to heat, but once they're boiling, they retain that heat. So it does take time. Stats vary, but they say it can take anywhere, you know, from 20 minutes to 40 minutes for a woman's body to become fully aroused. And I think most of us know this by now. This isn't new information. Most people understand that the female body arouses differently than the male body. And I still think there's a piece of each and every one of us that tries to defy this. It's like we know that it's true rationally, but we still think that somehow there's a way that we can start having multiple orgasms within 30 seconds of being penetrated. I get it. I've seen Outlander. I understand the fantasy. You watch things and you're just like, oh my gosh, I want a you know, hunky Scott to crawl on top of me and then I'm just, you know, having orgasm upon orgasm within 10 seconds of his penis just making contact with me and he's not even doing anything that special. I would love that. And unless you have some super charged vagina that can defy our biology, I would encourage you to really embrace the reality of giving your body time to warm up and open up to orgasm. Time is orgasm. Your body will open up to more deep, full, longer, multiple orgasms, the more time and energy you place into the arousal process. This doesn't mean that you need to spend 20 to 40 minutes before each and every sexual encounter that you have, you know, doing breast massage or, or really connecting in this slow, sensual way with your partner. If you have the time to do that, great. And arousal a lot of the time begins in the mind. Thinking about sex, thinking about your partner, sexting, doing these sorts of things that can create a low simmer throughout your day and throughout the relationship can help it so that the boiling point is not as far away as if you're starting out stone cold. Also, there are foods that you can eat. Sarah goes over a lot of those in her video. There's different things that stimulate blood flow down into the pelvis and nourish and really balance the female hormones. Also, the more you notice pleasure, not just sexual pleasure, but any pleasure, the pleasure in that first sip of coffee or even just walking into a coffee shop and smelling the coffee or cuddling into your bed or walking into an air conditioned house out of the heat, you know, noticing little things like that that cause pleasure can also help to keep you simmering so that the boiling point is not as far off. Number two, practice alone. I am a huge proponent of masturbation. I will never stop telling people to masturbate. Not only does this give you time to really know your body and practice technique, but more importantly, even more important the technique is really establishing that sense of safety in your body. When you're alone, there's not as much pressure to perform. There's not as much pressure about being timely. And so you can melt and open and relax into it. So you're able to experience deeper pleasure because you believe that you are safe and you feel calm. So practice by yourself. Once you do start having more orgasms by yourself, you'll start to ingrain those neural pathways in your brain so that when you are with somebody, it will become easier because your body and your brain will already be like, oh, this is familiar. We know what's happening now because we've done this before. Not with this person, but we've done it before. Number three, maybe the most important, breathe. Please breathe. We tend to hold our breath the closer we get to orgasm. And that creates these orgasms that are like really creating the space for multiple orgasms, full body orgasms, energy orgasms comes from breath. Deep breathing, deep presence and awareness and moving 
all of that energy through your body. So breathing into the pelvis, breathing it and circulating it through you. A way to start practicing this is when you do notice that you're going to come as opposed to breathing in and holding it and, and letting it peak. Exhale as you're coming and imagine it just opening and spreading through you. Number four, can you guess? It's the jade egg. Because the jade egg is this magnificent tool that can help to increase sensitivity and awareness and release tension and emotion from the vagina and really open you up to deeper, more luscious, delicious, orgasmic states. And if you are going to be using a jade egg, please use it properly, which means don't just buy one off of Amazon and throw it up your vagina and be like, we're good to go. I'm going to be an orgasm queen. That's not how it works. Learn about how to use it properly. We have some videos on this channel and we have developed a course. It's called Vagina Warrior. It's our first DSC course. We're very excited about it. It will be launching by the end of 2019. So go to our website, eatsquatcom.com to check it out. All the details are there or they should be there shortly if they're not quite there yet. That is a whole course based on how to incorporate jade egg practice in a healthy, proper functional way so that you really get the full benefit out of it. All of that orgasmic bliss. That's all I have for you for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions, comments, leave them in the comment section below. And that's it. So until next time, eat, squat, and come.